you beautiful people out there. I am Mrs. Realistic and I thank you for joining me again today. I have gotten so many requests for Wren and the Tale of Jenny and Screech, full version, which is over 13 minutes. So I'm going to try and not blab too much because this is going to be a long video, but I have been told that it's amazing. And if it's anything like the first song I did, Hi Wren, I'm sure my mind will be blown once again. So without further ado, let's check it out together. how he does that. He's always got something a little bit odd that he does in his songs, like the uh, almost like a little trumpet sound that he's making there. And and then he stops and coughs like we're sitting here watching this live performance, almost like it's our own little concert. And, you know, it's not refined. It's just like raw. And we're sitting here in an alleyway somewhere in London watching this cool performance. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street Somewhere in London city Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet She was heading back home to sleep Well she knew this town, she knew this floor Because she walked it about a thousand times before She wanted to escape Can you blame? Well on the very same night in a different place There was this hooded young youth by the name of James He was 14 years old and out of his brain He'd been smoking ganja with the boys James, he grew up to be a kid of the street His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet He was a liar, a thief, but 14 years old The devil had set his sights on his soul as Jenny walked home all along, she felt scared Usually she was alright, but it was like there was something in the air A divine intervention telling her to beware Maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared Sirens sounded in the distance at the beat of Jenny's feet A symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets Jenny turns a corner, their eyes they meet Our poor girl Jenny, a boy named Screech Give me all your money, bitch, give it to me If you cooperate, then you'll soon be free I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me I mean it! Bitch, are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite. He, uh, the way he does his music is so cool because it's not just a song, it's a, a complete performance. And I think that's what makes him so unique. He is so talented. His voice is beautiful. And you just get like immersed in this storyline, which I love about. Ren. Mean it, bitch! Are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite. Feel like liquid nitrogen. Like a lady shaped stalactite. What a cool line. Can you imagine a 14 year old kid doing this? I mean, these kids are raised on the street, so it's a whole different life. So, just a short story for you guys. Uh, when I was about 18, 19, uh, this guy I went to school with was at this party. This young kid, 14 or 15 years old, showed up. I don't remember what the fight was over, but this 14-year-old kid pulled a knife, stabbed this guy that I went to school with, and he ended up dying. And uh, his girlfriend was seven months pregnant. And this 14-year-old kid, I don't even think that he went to jail. I think he went to juvenile or something like that. Just goes to show you that, you know, raised in the wrong environment, this is the kind of stuff that happens. So, very sad. Free, I want your purse, your phone, don't fucking look at me! I mean it, bitch! Are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Feel like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath of the blade With the teeth
feet that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. He can weave a tale so beautifully, even something as ugly as a mugging and a stabbing. The way that he uh, poetically pieces this together, he is so talented. As sad as this story is to listen to, it's also at the same time something really beautiful to watch him perform. Than the statue she was turned to butter in her breath. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at Nanta City. You know what? This is so similar. It's like it's like a rock reggae. The way he sings is very similar to a lot of reggae music. In an empty street somewhere at Nanta City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's far out somewhere to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor, cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before. I guess that she escaped. It's such a shame. I love how you can even hear the rustling of his jacket as he's, you know, moving his guitar. And that uh, vibrato in his voice is so pretty. Um, something very hard to do. Let me in, please open the door I think I fucked up Patrick, really fucked up man I'm not sure, I got crazy Left this lady lying still on the floor I think I killed her Patrick, come on man I can't knock no more But Screech kept on knocking Till his knuckles became sore But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54 No refuge for our villain For the bitter hands of fate With something far more sinister in mind That does away We're watching a movie, it's so cool. Hey, babe, are you in? Now, nothing really, I'm just a bit tired. Listen, can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch, for fuck's sakes! So he's trying to find a place to hide, obviously, and we can see that this character that he is uh, playing right now. Uh, clearly has these anger issues because uh, left without help from this girlfriend, he goes straight to rage. So this is, you know, an issue that uh, has also ended another person's life. Siren sounds approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights 
Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. The way he uses his voice and his instrument is something that I have never seen before. And it's really amazing to watch. And it, and even though this is just one song, it's got all of these different flavors in it and all of these different melodies. It's not your usual chorus, then song with a different melody, then chorus. This is five songs all wrapped into one. Our story, it ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless and it's such a shame. It's such a shame That's right, not, were, not only were two lives taken, but now the officer has that to deal with for the rest of his life, realizing that it was a 14-year-old boy. reminds me of is like a minstrel's song like in Robin Hood or something then he weaves this into like it's his own thing that he's made and it's so unique and so fun to listen to and like I said I could listen to him just play guitar I want to listen to the whole thing because I had to cut that off just to say that <laughs> perfect pitch. I don't know if this is something that he has had to practice, but it's like he is a savant. He has perfect pitch. His uh, ability with instruments, and I've heard he plays more than just guitar, um, it's incredible. And uh, man, somebody so talented to be able to share this with the world is uh, just awesome.
London City, far from pretty. Two zero zero five. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. Rhythmic beeps and bloodstains. She's our lady. She's tired and frail To set the scene We must rewind The hands of time For Violet's tale Was a silent girl, grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was a wrong man, but he sure knew how to charm her Every night he took her tie, but never left the room History repeats itself, he paint her black and blue and dark So this is the... This is the young girl who was abused as a child growing up to pick an abuser and this is pretty common. So now she is reliving childhood trauma through this new relationship because she's never had a, a good example of what a mother and a father should be. So that is, uh, that's what she picks. She picks what she saw. So sad. Peace itself, he paint her black and blue and dark. She never stood a chance The devil comes to dance Violet, why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late And he stands by her bedside, she shakes But her eyes stay shut You fucking slut, I know you're up And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detach, fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left her bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. So that's. Uh, typical, right? You know, you uh, are blaming the abused. The abuser blames the person he's abusing for making him abuse her. And the way that Ren can, I can't even really call this rap, but the way that he can, that, that cadence that he has here with the music and at the same time, uh, telling such a deep and haunting story is just so stunning. There are very few people who can do something like this. Very few people that can make an impact like this. This is some of the most epic music. And it's not just music, but the most epic uh, artistry, I think, that, uh, that I've ever seen. Violet, do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet! Silence. Fucking say something, Violet! Silence. Wait. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet. He is 
his own soundtrack. His guitar creates these sound effects. It's like if you're watching, you know, The Roadrunner or or some cartoon, we've got these wah, wah, wah in the background or whatever. And he's doing that all with a guitar in his voice. <laughs> London City, far from pretty, 2005 A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong See Violet, she was pregnant, poor Violet she was nine months gone Turning to the doctor Violet broke her silence And she cried If I'm to die Right here tonight Please let my baby stay alive The doctor soon regained composure Called the surgeon to come in As Violet's world turned to black The curtains closed The lights went dim In London City Far from pretty 2005 A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive A tragedy or a miracle It happened on these very streets Two twins aligned side by side A girl named Jenny And a boy named Screech Oh my god. What? Screech killed his sister. Oh my god, it was like this cycle of violence that started with their mother, who they never knew. It's like a generational curse or something. Oh my god. Is this a true story? It said 2005. Wow, she fought so hard to save what she thought was one baby and it ended up being twins. And then 14 years later, they've obviously been adopted to different families and he kills his own sister. There's a plot twist that I didn't see coming. Holy cow. I gotta listen to something like super happy now because <laughs> there's like no happy ending. You're like waiting for this happy ending. Like, oh, she, her babies are gonna survive and she's gonna make it and... Then he brings it around full circle. Wow, Ren. <sighs> I gotta say, you are good at what you do. I am really thankful that I've been introduced to Ren's music. Some people just have it in them. Some people just have like that natural affinity for this type of thing. And uh, I wish I did. Thankfully, there are people like you out there, Ren, sharing this with everybody. After this one, I can definitely say I am gobsmacked. So thank you, Ren. Thank you, all of you. And as I always say, we'll see you in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.